So you don't want to wear a full face of makeup every day? Great. I don't want to every day either. So I have the perfect palette for you. It's a palette four. It has four items in it. I have sunlit highlight. I have mango highlight, Bella bronzer, and summer love lip and cheek. You do not need a color match for this, and it is the perfect light coverage, bare minimal amount of makeup, and will look amazing on every single skin tone. Stay tuned. All right, if I want to go bare minimum makeup, I first think of the distractions on my face that I want to filter out. So I have a sunspot. This is my least favorite spot on my entire face, okay? It is dark and it is dull. It is blah. There's not a lot of color. That means it is excess blue. And I am going to filter out blue with orange. That is where my mango highlight comes into play. And I also have a lot of around my chin area, either current acne or acne scarring. So if I can fix this spot, these spots and my under eyes, I'm going to feel a lot better about how I look with very, very minimal makeup. So that is where these two highlights come into play. And it doesn't matter if you are very fair or very tan. These two guys, the blues that you see on your face are going to get color corrected with orange. So mango highlight. The purples you see on your face are going to get color corrected with yellow. That's sunlit highlight. So this is a universal palette. It will look amazing on anybody. So I am first taking my multitasker brush and I am dipping into sunlit highlight. And I am going to just fix real quick, just filter out these acne scars on my chin and some of the purple that I see in my under eyes. A lot of people think that acne is red. You guys, unless it is a flaming red hot pimple, it's actually purple. So check it out. I'm just going to apply just bare minimum amount of products to these distractions that I don't like. So those are my three main ones there on this side and I'm just gonna leave it and sit there. I'm gonna let the cream warm up on my skin. So I just barely tapped in here and I'm gonna color correct all these little dark spots. And you'll see it's a just a bare minimum amount of makeup, okay? While I'm at it, you guys, purples, when purples are present on your face, excess purple, they're dark and they're vibrant. So I've got some purples on my under eyes, so I'm just gonna tap this multitasker brush in just a little. And with a very light hand, I'm gonna brighten up these under eyes. And again, I'm just leaving them sit on my face right now and letting them warm up. So I've got, I've definitely got some vibrant purples present under my eyes. That's the excess color here that I see the most in my under eyes. And then my acne and acne scarring, okay? Now I'm gonna fix that age spot and any other dark spots I see. So dark and dull, remember, is excess blue. So watch the magic of this. I'm just gonna dip into mango because it's orange. If this is excess blue, orange is gonna make it disappear. So I have a little bit of melasma kind of going on in my mustache area, so very, very lightly. I'm gonna add just a little bit of mango here to color correct that blue. Okay, so I see how that was minimal. I just corrected these couple spots. Okay, I've only put makeup on those couple spots. Now I'm gonna flip my brush over and I'm gonna use the flat end of my multitasker brush and I'm, it should appear like you're wiping this makeup away. So I'm kind of doing some pressing, pressing that makeup in. Okay, 
so my melasma looks better there. Now I'm gonna press this makeup in on my acne scars. You can use the multitasker brush. I've seen a lot of people just use their finger to press it in. So again, yellow color corrects purple. And then orange color corrects blue. Oh, look at that, go on. Okay, now for this delicate under eye, I'm just gonna take light sweeping motions and just blend this down and out. just to filter out that excess purple and to brighten me up. So that looks awesome. So notice like I, there's not really any spots on my forehead that I hate. So I just leave that alone. I'm just filtering out the little itty bitty distractions that drive me crazy personally on my own face. Okay, so I have hit the spots that I hate. I've concealed them, I've filtered them out. Oh, this is a little light. Let me blend this a little bit more. There we go, that's better. I think I got a little scab, a little dry skin going there. Driving me crazy. Okay, so the next thing, so you filtered out your spots, and again, you these these two colors right here in our 3D line work wonders. So sunlit highlight, mango highlight, those are your go-tos. Now, to finish off my light and gorgeous look, I have Bella Bronzer, and now I've switched to the blush bronzer brush. I am just gonna give myself a really nice, pretty glow. I'm going to apply bronzer at the high points of my face here. And I know it might look crazy while you're applying your bronzer to the correct areas of your face, but you're gonna blend and it's gonna look gorgeous. Okay, so now fluffy under my brush, I'm just gonna use a big, sweeping motions. Now our bronzer is sheer and it is beautiful. So I am just giving myself a good Dusting of Bella Bronzer. Okay, and now last but not least, I am going to take Summer Love Lip and Cheek. I'm just gonna go with my finger, and at the high point of my cheekbone, I'm just gonna tap some of it on. And then I am going to take it and put it on my lips. And then just take the small end of my blush bronzer brush and stipple it. Up. And then give it a nice big blend with the fluffy end. And voila. I feel a lot more confident, then I'm ready to go.